So back in August last year, I did my little review on Too Good To Go. Now this is a place, if you don't already know and you haven't seen the last video, it's a website or, or an app that you can buy magic bags, which are surprise bags of surplus food from supermarkets, cafes, shops and restaurants. And you don't know what's gonna be in there, but it's a great surprise and they're always great value. The last video did pretty well, so I've decided to do a part two. Now in this video, there are a few places that we've already been to, but there are also some new ones. So first up, we went back to the One Stop. Now, this isn't gonna be the same as the last one because the last time we went to One Stop, the price was £2.49, I believe. But now they've taken their prices down to £1.99. So what effect does this have on what we get in a magic bag. Hi, yeah, I've got a two good to go bag. Ah, thank you very much. Have a good day. Okay, so we're back from the one stop. Last time we didn't even get a bag. So it's winning so far and it's a reusable bag as well. So let's see what's inside. The first item is six mini beef pasties. Those look really, really nice. And originally £2.50. Well, we've already made our money back on the one item. Item number two is some little gem lettuce, originally one pound. Pretty good. Some potato salad, 90p. Whoa. Last but not least, a chicken Caesar wrap, originally £3.25. So, if I just quickly do some mental maths, the total of all that comes to £7.65. And then if we factor in our bag here of maybe 10p, that's £7.75. And for £1.99, that is not bad. We got the same number of items as we did last time, but for £1.10 cheaper, I don't know why they brought the price down, because we seem to be getting almost the same amount of items. Maybe they saw a few complaints last time because I thought it wasn't quite good enough. But this would make, obviously, lunch, and these pasties are ready to eat now. I might, I might try one, actually. And the potato salad can also go in my lunch as well, and maybe even with a bit of lettuce. So four very usable items, I'd give this I'd say a solid 7.5 out of 10. It wouldn't be a too good to go video if we didn't revisit the spa. Now my, the spa is where my too good to go journey started and one of my favorite places to go for a magic bag because they are always great value and you always get some really interesting items. Yeah, okay, thank you. Hi, you're right. I've got a uh, Too Good To Go bag. Oh, no, just one or two? Just one. Okay, so we're back from the spa. So they've changed to paper bags now rather than the plastic ones. So they're saving the environment. But this does make our little hall look a bit bigger. Whether it is or not, we'll have to find out in a few seconds. So first up out the bag, we have a Hovist Best of Both loaf. That would originally be £1.69. Next up out of the bag, we have some Funtime Custard Donuts. They're little ball-like donuts. They're £1.25 usually. I've had those before in another magic bag that I haven't filmed, and they are pretty good. Now, this seems like a new item. 
These are McCain's Shake Shake Fries Smoked Paprika Flavour. Those are usually £1.59. I believe they've got like a sachet of paprika. Shake them up and they go straight into the oven. Next up out the bag we have some Elmley Single Cream. So that would be usually be £1.99. Next we have some roast chicken fillets. There's two in there. They would usually be £2.50. And last but not least, we have 20 mini chicken bites, which would usually be £2.85. For them, I definitely wouldn't be paying that usually, but you know, that's the price. So the total price of all of these items does beat our last time total. Whether, whether we'd want to pay that for some of the items, I don't know, but that's the total that it comes to. So a supermarket this time, instead of a sort of convenience shop, is Morrison's. Now, they come out with a lot of magic bags each day. It's usually about 10. Uh, so the queue to get in was quite long. But have a look at what we got inside. So today I actually managed to secure a Morrison's magic bag. Now, these have been in quite high demand. I haven't been able to get one, well, ever. This is my first ever one. Um, but it's something really weird because usually they only bring out one or two or it looked like there was only one or two left when I was able to get there but wasn't still didn't get through to the purchase in time but now they're bringing out about eight so it's about eight I was able to get I only got one because our fridge is full at the moment so hopefully I'm just gonna be able to eat all this tonight fingers crossed depending on what we get um but yeah it's a bit weird because there was about eight left whether that means that they're getting the bags and then splitting them off making them smaller it's not as good value anymore I don't know or people are just not interested in it anymore, or they've got more stock, who knows? But we'll find out how much we get. Oh, you're right, I've got a uh, two good to go bag. Just one, mate, yeah. yeah. I would do that now. You uh, can do it now. Just confirming that you've had the bugger. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, Thank you very much. Have a good day. So our Morrison's magic bag has been acquired and, well, despite my doubts, this is absolutely jam-packed. It is full to the brim. So let's go through what we've got in here. So first up out the bag, we have some leeks. Now it, these are all from Morrison's. So in Morrison's leeks are £1.29. Next up we have a mushroom stir fry kit. That's also £1.29 from Morrison. I'm sure that'll make a great dinner at some point this week. We've got some large flat mushrooms, which come to £1.19. Four large oranges, which come to £2.15. A pot of mashed potato, which is 99p usually. A pineapple and grapefruit pot. And it says on the top, this was £2.25. And three pots of blueberries which are 99p each usually. A mixed leaf salad which is also or usually 99p. We've got a bag of vegetable casserole mix which I think you just add the meat and then you've got a casserole basically. They, there's 600 grams of that so that comes to £1.29 usually. And a bag of tender stem broccoli which is £1.99. And of course not forgetting the bag which is about 10p. So I'll put a total of what that comes to. I haven't worked out yet but I'm pretty sure that is one of the best magic bags we've ever had. So for £3.09p we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 items. Now they are all fruit and veg. Unfortunately, there's no meat or cakes or anything here, which I know, keeping us healthy, what a shame. Uh, so I'm sure we'll get a few meals made out of this. I'm thinking maybe we make a soup or something else out of these leeks and the casserole mix. And we've got a lovely little snack of some pineapple and grapes and a few blueberries. So I'm pretty sure this is one of my favorite magic bags yet and probably the best value one so far. And last but not least is our first ever restaurant, The Harvester with their assorted salad and rotisserie chicken box. So we've got another magic bag. Now I couldn't film going to get this one. It's a bit of a spontaneous sort of uh, getting of this one. Uh, we got it on the way home from swimming and it was pretty quick. The manager Mason uh, greeted us at the door and uh, this is the bag that we get. So it's a rotisserie chicken, half rotisserie chicken and salad bag. So if you've ever been to the Harvester, so that's where we got it from is the Harvester. 
Um, it's you can go and there's a salad bar. Obviously, we can, we could, you can't choose with this. It's a magic bag. Obviously, it's a surprise. The other half of the magic bag, the half of chicken, it's pretty pretty self-explanatory and you're not too surprised at that point, but you will be surprised about the salad. So this one is a bit different to all the others we've had. It's less of a surprise and it's the first one we've had from a restaurant. So the first item up, we have one, two, three, four bread rolls. We have our first tray of salad. We've got some potato salad there, some onion crunch and a bit of lettuce, olives on there, croutons, a good mixture. And you've got a second tray as well. We've got some pasta in there, more lettuce, some tomato. I think that's gonna be a great lunch tomorrow, to be fair. We've got red devil sauce. It's my favorite sauce when I go to the harvester. I dress everything in a red devil sauce. So we've got another sauce, a honey mustard. I've never tried this one before, but it's uh, it sounds quite nice. And then this one is Thousand Islands. This one is also one of my favorites. And before we get on to the main bit, there are also two butters uh, that we can spread on our bread rolls. So here it is, the main attraction itself, a half rotisserie chicken. Look at that. That with a bit of salad for lunch or even dinner tomorrow. It's it's gonna be delicious. So all of that comes to three pound and 99 pence. Oh, don't let the dog have it. Um, so I think that's a bargain. A half rotisserie chicken is all is usually about 10 pounds. And the salad, when you go to the harvester, you get a limited salad and that costs around six pound 50. So I think we've done really well. I think that's lunch for at least two of us tomorrow. And we've even got two of my favorite sauces in there. So I am really pleased with that. So I hope you enjoyed watching our Too Good To Go part two. If this has helped you decide that you'd like to go with the Too Good To Go crew, then I'm very glad that it has. And I hope that you get success in your Too Good To Go journey. If you'd like a part three, I really enjoy these. I go on a regular basis anyway to get my uh, Too Good To Go bags. And I always like to try new places. But thank you for watching. There are some great videos coming up on the Benny Boo channel and I hope to see you again soon. Bye bye. Mmm, lovely pasta.